Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would sit down and film a review. I ordered the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette online a few weeks back. It was actually on sale. So, I thought I would sit down and get this filmed for you guys today, go through some swatches and all that fun kind of stuff and let you know how it applies on the eyes. I actually did this makeup look today using this palette and I'll let you know what, how it blends, all that kind of fun stuff, what kind of quality it is and if it's worth your money or not. So, if you want to see anything regarding the full spectrum palette, then make sure you just keep on watching. Alright, so I ordered this palette off of Sephora.ca. I'm from Canada. So the normal retail value for this palette here in Canada is $80, but I actually saw it on sale. So I scooped it right up because I've been meaning to get this palette for a while and it was on sale for $57. So I quickly scooped it up and received it in the mail a few weeks back. So today is the first day that I am going to be playing with this palette or that I played with this palette. So to start with, let's read what this palette has to say on Sephora. So this is a limited edition set featuring 21 shades of Urban Decay Iconic eyeshadows. So if you do want this palette, make sure you do go pick it up if it is still available in the United States, I'm not sure. It is available on Sephora Canada on sale, so if you do want it, make sure you pick it up while it is still in stock. So basically this is an eyeshadow palette in bold brights to matte to a matte white. Urban Decay organized the shadows by color family, creating a rainbow of ombre trios. Pinks, oranges, yellows, greens, blues, purples, and even a wild card row that goes from white to black. This palette that not only looks stunning, but also delivers tons of options. Um, now today I did do a look, so on the top of my lid I did like a yellowy orange look. Um, on the bottom I sweeped some blue underneath, closer to the waterline, and created this look very turned out very spring um so in the next couple months this would be a great look to wear so packaging looks like this it's very nice packaging it has these letters that stand out and they're kind of jeweled in like a rainbow jewel and it says ud so urban decay full spectrum down here and you can go ahead and open this up so one thing i love about this palette is you do get a huge mirror in it so this is nice to travel with I'm not sure if these would be shades that you'd want to travel with all the time, but if you're going somewhere for a special occasion or or even if you just like doing more bold and fun colors, this mirror is perfect for it. And then it comes with, as you can see here, comes with a full range of colors everywhere in the rainbow. So really this palette is great for anything. If you want, if you don't have many colorful shades, this palette is great just to add to your collection so you have something to go to when you do want to create something, even just one shade in the on the lid or something like that, this palette would be great for that. Now it does come with a brush as well. So this brush here is a double sided brush so it comes with a more of like a blending brush on this side, a more um, poofy brush and then on the other side more of a dense brush. It has some shadow on it because I did use this side. And this is more dense so if you wanted to pack more of those shiny or shimmery shades on your lid this side would be great for that. So to start with here we have, I'm going to go from um, the left to the right but I'm going to go down because that's kind of how I see it when I look at the palette as to the color schemes that they're trying to go with here. Um, the first row here I see is a bunch of pinks so it starts with, don't mind how I'm pronouncing things because I'm terrible at it if you don't watch my channel, if you do you already know. Um, so the first pink shade I see here is Alchemy and this shade is a almost purpley pink shade. It's very, I'm also terrible at explaining things. It's almost like a berry shade, it has some shimmer in it not shimmer sorry it's like a satin finish so just gives the lid some shine to it things like that next shade i see here is gossip this is just a hot pink shade perfect for valentine's day look i know it just passed but things like that it does have some shimmer in it um it's more more of a satin as well but it does have a little bit of some sparkly colors in there the last shade on that row is a almost a cool toned pink almost purple color that is called Paranoia, and that as well is a, a satin, if you can see that. So heading on to the next row, this is more of a orangey red row, just right here. So the top shade is Warning. This is a very pigmented, um, it's a satin as well, but it's like a, like a red, sorry I'm not flipping you off, <laughs> it's like a red, um, almost burnt orangey red color, beautiful, I'm excited to use that color, I'll definitely be creating something with that. Next shade I see in here is, looks like a matte, it's called Seas, and a very, very beautiful color as well. And then the third one in this row is Jones, and that is pretty much your standard orange, a very bright orange, 
and it does have some shimmer in it. I actually used that one just in my outer crease today just to create some um, dimension in the crease. Alright, so the next shade, shade you see here is a, it's, it looks like a black with a bunch of gold sparkle in it. It's called Midnight Blaze. That would be perfect for for going out to the club just to add some. I think that would just really brighten up your eye on the center of your lid. It would really look beautiful. Then next we have shade Calvary or Calavera. That's the shade I used actually in my crease today and it really just warms everything up. It makes everything just pop on your lid. If you have blue eyes like me, it really makes your blue eyes stand out and really makes them look really blue. So I really like that shade. Um, and then next on the last row there, we have gold mine, which is just a gold. I used that today and I did have a little bit of trouble putting it on. Um, I felt like it wasn't giving me enough pigment, so I did go in with some setting spray just to spray my brush down, and I felt that was a lot easier to apply because it is a very glittery, glittery shade. So the next row here we have 100, which is a deep olive green color with some shimmer in it as well. Uh, the next one we have Hater, which is like a, what I would say would be the perfect St. Patrick's Day color. It's very, very green. Just right in the middle there, if you can see that. And then the last one here we have Mean, which is a light, more of a plant green with some shimmer in that as well. So onto the blue row here, the first top shade we have Minx, which is a royal blue with some shimmer in it. Then we have Blindsided, which I used underneath the waterline today. It's almost a satin. It doesn't have much shimmer in it, but a beautiful, really stands out, especially, like I said, if you have blue eyes, it really makes them pop as well. Then the last blue we have is Metamorphosis, which is more of a, almost like a baby blue, but has, it's deeper than a baby blue. Very beautiful. So the third, or third row, the second last row is the purple shade. Top row, or top shade, is Delirious, which is just your standard, standard purple. It looks pretty matte. It looks like it may have some shimmer in it, but I think you could get away with using it as a crease color or on the outer bead, things like that. So the middle purple shade we have is Sketch, which is another classic purple color. That one does look like a satin finish there, so that would be nice again on the center of your lid or just all over your lid. And then the last one is Faded, which is a very light purple. Um, with a bunch of looks like white or silver shimmer in it so that's beautiful as well if you want to pop that right in the right in the center and that would just really bring out your lid so the last row here is the blacks down to the white so the top is a shimmery black I would have liked to see them put a matte black in here uh, just because I feel like a matte black is more workable and wearable than a shimmery black but it has a black with some silver uh, shimmer in it, so it's different than the black with the gold shimmer, but that'll still be nice. Middle one here is Iced, which is just a silvery, almost has a little bit of reflex of purple and pink in it. Again, that would be really nice for your inner corners or on the center of your lid as well. And then you have your matte white, which is just called Bump, and that's good. I applied that just into my inner corners today and on my brow bone, really good for things like that. So, overall, like I said, this palette is great if you're wanting to add some more colors to your collection. However, uh, with a palette like this, you do need to have another palette available because you still need your crease colors. Um, you don't have a matte black in here, which is another thing, like I said. So I would have liked to see them maybe add a little bit more matte shades as well as a couple transition shades, like a brown, like a light brown or a matte black. Like I said, things like that would have been nice to add to this palette as well. But regardless, I bought it just to so I could have some color in my collection. I didn't buy it so I could do a full completed look. So make sure if you do grab this palette, you are aware that you do need a palette to go along with it. Just something neutral. Um, something like the Studio Makeup on the Go palette. Um, just very neutral brown shades. Or you could do more of a cool tone one if that's more what you're into. But just something to add along to it, especially if you're going to be traveling and things like that. Besides the color range of this palette, when I applied them on the lid today, they blended like a dream. They were easy to blend. They didn't blend together. They didn't look muddy as long, at least for the colors that I used on my lid today. They all just went on so beautifully, so easily. Uh, the only trouble I had, like I said, was with that gold, um, and then I just sprayed it down with some setting spray, and after I did that, I really applied gorgeous and very shimmery and beautiful. Um, 
Out of five, I'd probably rate this palette a four and a half. This is exactly what I was looking for to add to my collection because I don't have many colors. I had your a few purples, a few pinks, things like that, but not the whole kabam that this palette does offer. And with it being on sale for $52, you really can't lose. I'm not sure if it's on sale on Sephora in the States, but if you live in Canada, make sure you snatch this palette up if there's something that interests you. Other than that, I don't think I can think of anything else to say. If you have any questions regarding the palette, just let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely make sure to answer them as fast as I can for you guys and let you know whatever you're wondering. Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit the like button and comment down below, like I said, if you have any questions. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. I plan to do more reviews like this in the future, so let me know what you would like for me to review as well. And I do makeup tutorials, so I will be posting this one that I did earlier today with a palette, probably next, so you can see how the shadows work on the eyes and things like that. Other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.